Hi everyone, it's Jerry. I'm on chess.com right now and I just got done going through several tactics training puzzles and I'd like to share three of them with you. They're all end game puzzles. Uh, each of them it's white to move and I'm just going to throw it to you and see if you can uh, solve it. I'll go ahead and share the solution with each of these three and some of the thoughts I had when trying to solve them myself. So in this first one uh, it's white to move. If you'd like to, go ahead and pause the video. See if you can find the best continuation for white. Okay. Uh, the solution to this one is to immediately push the a6 pawn. And if black continues to push, what ends up happening is white promotes first, black on the very next move promotes, and now we have a knight move with check, which is unleashing an attack against the queen. We win the queen in the game. The other variation is surprisingly enough mm, the same tactic, but with a different pawn promoting. After a6, black seeing that this quick race of the promotion of the a pawn and the h pawn won't work, well... Black might go ahead and grab the pawn, but that's okay. We still have a g-pawn. And similarly, white will promote first. Black will promote on the very next move. And we can force through this queen a8 move, push the king back to its initial position on b5, and once again revisit this same tactic. So whether it's the a-pawn promoting or the g-pawn promoting, I thought that that was pretty neat that you can force a queen a8 move and then the follow-up knight check picking up the queen on h1. Let's have a look at the second one. White to move. If you'd like to, go ahead, pause the video, see if you can find the best continuation for white. Okay. This one is certainly an endgame study. Uh, the only way to try and draw this and as white, you should be looking to draw because there's no way to stop F2. And if you're not stopping F2, you're not stopping black from promoting. So white has to come up with something clever. And this usually involves some stalemate tricks. The first move must be G4. Um, if white doesn't play G4, black can push G4. And there's no way to disrupt the king's position on h5. There's no way to seal him in in any way. g4 must be the start, forcing king h6. And the type of reasoning you have to use at this point is to know if given a move, if the black king can get to h7, he'll be okay. So what you must play here is white is king to g8. You have to stop king h7. And this at least threatens some stuff. If we can get the bishop on f8 or g7, that will actually be mate. So this is a key move. After g4, king h6, you have to go king g8 to stop king h7. Now black pushes. We get the bishop here. We don't, we don't just go to any square. Um, the key idea is to go to d8. And now making use of a stalemate trick, bishop f6. The trick here, queen takes bishop, that's game over, that's a stalemate. Now, this is what I calculated when trying to do this puzzle, but what I didn't take into account was that there was an additional move for black here, and that is to give this check, so I wonder if any of you came up with this other idea that black has in this position, and that is to give a check on c4, king h8, and now queen f7. What are we doing now as white? Well, we can still draw by playing bishop takes g5. That's a check. King takes bishop is forced, and this is yet another instance of stalemate. So I thought that that was pretty cool. I didn't see this one again in its entirety. I only took it as far as, well, you're only able to stop this checkmating idea by taking the bishop and its stalemate. I overlooked that there was queen f4 into f7, but uh, even so, again, we have another stalemate idea with bishop takes g5. 
uh, certainly an endgame study there. And I think also one more endgame study for the third and final puzzle. Let's have a look at it. Yes, I'm pretty sure that this one is an endgame study too. So it's white to move. If you'd like to go ahead, pause the video. What's the best continuation for white? Okay. Uh, the solution here, well, before I share the solution, let me share, you, share with you uh, one of the thoughts I had and how I came to the solution to this one. White, uh, just to keep things straight here, white is going up the board just two squares away from promoting. Um, if black is able to successfully get behind the pawn, this is what I concluded, if the rook can get behind the pawn, get to h3, and be maintained on h3, there's not going to be a win here for white. So I then tried to come up with ways to prevent this. And I also noticed that the black king is on the edge, and there is a possibility for a mate trick. King to c4, in other words, would be threatening rook a6 mate. That is, in fact, the correct start to this puzzle, king to c4. What's wrong with h7? The rook gets behind, and there's just not a good follow-up. I mean, what do you do? His pawn is under fire. You could protect him. His pawn runs, and yeah, you're not getting anywhere with this approach. White isn't getting anywhere with pushing the pawn. So it must be first king to c4. Now, what exactly is the idea here? Well, what can black do to disrupt this mate threat? Give a check, we just take the rook. He has two options, king a5, king a3, and you need to understand both, what to do in both cases. Let's have a look first at king a3. Now we push, and what's the trick here? Now, once the rook gets behind the pawn, notice the king and the rook are on the same rank. Tactically vulnerable. A fork, a deflection, rook takes rook, and now we push through. And one other clever sequence, and in fact the one that the computer played out when I did the puzzle, and that is after this initial move king c4, what do you do on king a5? Well, you give a check, and now rook h5. That's a cool move. Pawn takes rook. I mean, you're just ready to push through. On pawn takes rook, we push, and there's no stopping this pawn from promoting. White goes on to win. So I thought that that one was pretty cool. Very simplified position, rook and pawn endgame. End game. And uh, we have these this combined idea, well, king c4, threatening mate, and the two different ideas. King a3, push through with a fork, or if king to a5, we have a check, and then we disrupt the rook's ability to get behind the pawn and track it down. Pawn takes, we push through, and the rook is in an awkward spot. The f pawn's in its way, and the h pawn will push through. So I thought that those were uh, a few cool puzzles. Feel free to share how you did with them in the comment section below, and I will catch you in the next video. That's all for now. Take care.